grind From a slave he was kept from the mine And from the caves he crept from behind And what he gave was a sect of the swine When the Bible they condemned the pig I don't mean to pull your hems or flip your wigs But we used to wear a turban But now we in the urban No more wearing beanies or dress like a genie No hope is focused cause I focus on the fact Dead chickens. You know, they'll even eat one another. If they get blood, they got like a bloodless, they'll eat one another. They'll eat snakes, eat rats, they eat everything. And, what he gave was a sex and they just keep growing fatter and fatter. I know some people that look like pig. They look like the, the very food they eat. That one guy's name is Boss Hog. I'm not joking. I don't understand, especially in North Georgia. I look around, everybody eats that stuff. Because we raised on it, you know, in the South. A lot of pork, a lot of ham sandwich, bacon. I mean, I've eaten my share. I wouldn't be a hypocrite. But let's look at some other things. That's that's unclean. God's never sanctified the pig. Okay? No. no. Now, I'm not saying you go to hell if you eat the pig, but... Interesting. Isaiah 65. May I read this verse? Sure. This is God speaking in His Word. He says, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts, a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in the gardens, they burn incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves, they lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh, and broth of abominable things, abominable things is in their vessels. God didn't take too lightly <laughs> to the fact that what they were doing, one of them, were they were eating swine's flesh. If it wasn't of importance, he wouldn't have put it in there. They were eating abominable broth of something else in their vessels. Folks, these are unclean things. God created them actually as the garbage disposals of the animal kingdom. They eat yes. dead things. You've got to have a cleanup crew. Folks, if you and I didn't have the garbage truck to come along every week, that garbage would have nowhere to go. The rats would come around and start eating it. Pestilence would break out. That's how people got sick and got the plague because they were dumping garbage and all kinds of stuff outside of the window onto the streets. They didn't have a garbage collection system. The rats came along and ate it. Okay, the rats were eating dead people too. And then the lice jumped on the rats. And then the lice jumped on the people and they spread the, spread the plague that way. The people that didn't, that were safe were the Jewish people. They weren't eating all that stuff. They had, they had some, they had some ordinances they lived by to, you know, that govern how you, you live and you stay clean. My bottom line here is, you need a garbage crew. So the pigs, they're a scavenger. There's other things that Leviticus 11 talks about. You don't eat their scavengers. Like you don't eat the osprey and the ostrich and you don't eat the um, um, the crows and you don't eat the eagles. You know, these things eat carrion. They eat dead things. Okay? Something's got to eat them. Okay? To keep things clean. Now, in the ocean, if I may jump over to the water for a minute, dive into the ocean here, you need something to filter the water. So God created the lobster. The lobster is part of the cockroach family. It's in the same genus as the cockroach. Yeah. Now, I know someone that ate a cockroach. I don't think they ate it the second time, though. They did it just for YouTube. It was pretty nasty. Folks, you know that you don't eat cockroaches. They're pretty nasty. They carry disease. Well, I think he ate it on a piece of cracker, by the way. <laughs> That's another story. But, uh, folks, the lobster in the ocean, what they do is they troll around the bottom of the ocean. What are they looking for? They're looking for dead fish that die and float down. And they're looking to eat caca. They eat fish doo-doo. Also the shrimp. The shrimp are what they do is they swim through and they filter the water. I didn't know this until you got me on this subject today to do an investigation. Did you know oysters that people love? They weren't meant to be eaten. Mussels. Because they're filters. An acre of oysters, Bill, can filter 140 million gallons of water an hour and remove 3,000 pounds of nitrogen a year. You can throw these oysters in these dirty water tanks and they'll clean the water up. That's because they're filters. They filter the water, okay, to keep sure. it clean. The, the lobsters, the shrimp, they eat the caca. And there was an old saying, I think, uh, you, uh, some of the uh, natives used to joke about the white man who would come and they would eat all these things that they wouldn't eat. They said, it's funny, the white man uh, says, <laughs> the fish, they, they do a caca, that's Spanish for a doo-doo, okay, into the water. Okay, the 
shrimp eat the doo-doo. The white men eat the shrimp. The white men are full of caca. I mean, folks, think about it. We're, we're eating these things. We're dipping them in butter. Now, I love, I mean, I love shrimp growing up. I used to order it every time we would go to the Iron Skillet up in South Bend, Indiana, after church, over at Buster Summerall Church. <laughs> I didn't know any better. But when I realized what they're meant for, and they're full of toxins, they hold this stuff till they die. So when you eat it, you're getting all the toxins and the crap and everything else. And now you're putting it into your body, plus the parasites and the worms. There's certain things that you don't eat. There's scavengers, there's certain fish that you don't eat because they're the bottom feeders. Now I would ask anybody out there who's got an aquarium, William, they know what a sucker fish is. Sucker fish goes all over the, the rocks, eats the doo-doo, eats the mold and the slime. Would you want to pull that thing out and fry them? And put some sriracha sauce on them and eat them? Folks, you don't eat some of that. You know you wouldn't eat that. It's nasty. Some of these things are nasty. Now, I'm not saying it's going to send you to hell, but it could send you to heaven quicker than someone who's not eating it. Oh, absolutely. That's why, you know, the light, it says the life is in the blood. And, and that's why, you know, you know, in every dispensation, whether, you know, because I know a lot of believers are dispensational and say, oh, well, this, this, this is different, you know. But even in the book of Acts, chapter 15, in the law of Moses, in Exodus, and in Noah's day, the Almighty kept saying over and over again, do not eat blood. And I believe it is because that there are demonic spirits in the blood, because it's a lie. And of course, if you know anything at all about Satanists, you know, number one, they tend to drink blood, but number two, they also like to shed blood because they believe there's power in, in killing either an animal or a person and spilling their blood for it. And then they drink the blood and they believe by doing that they can get power. What they're getting is demons. And, and you're right. I mean, these people that eat rare, you know, steaks or eat, there's like, you know, especially I think Germanic uh, peoples and Eastern European, they have like blood sausage and, I mean, ugh, you know, and of course me being a, a, a former blood drinker, a former vampire, I, I did that for a you know, while. Um, it is horrible to do that kind of thing, and I believe it is very, first of all, you're violating a commandment, a very clear commandment of the Bible. But secondly, you're opening yourself up by doing that both to health problems, but also to the demonic realm. Because just as, as I think most of your listeners probably know, you can get demons by having intercourse with a person who has them. Yes. You know, they're the ultimate venereal disease. And in the same way, you can get demons. And here's the thing people may not think about, but when, when you kill an animal, you know, and, and if, you know, theoretically, if it's a kosher slaughterhouse, the, the, the Torah says that there's supposed to be no blood left in the animal. But it's hard to do that, you know. And there's different things you can do. I happen to be a vegetarian, so for me it's a non-issue. I just don't eat anything like that. But, you know, the point is, is there is um, life force and demonic stuff in that blood. But not only that, when you kill an animal... The animal gets afraid. They get they get terrified because they can like if you if you ever look at these documentaries about slaughterhouses and whatnot, and especially these big things, because we used to have one here in our community, and I worked there one afternoon. That's all I could take. But you can smell the death, and these animals smell that. They know what's coming. You know, cows, pigs, you know, whatever. And so they get all worked up. And then when you kill them, all those toxic adrenal-type chemicals are in the blood of the animal. And then if you eat that blood, you're, in effect, eating those, 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 those emotional chemicals. Because people need to understand that really all of our emotional responses are chemically based. They're in our bloodstream. Like, for example, if you get frightened, if you think someone's going to cut off your head like these people over with ISIS or whatever, you get adrenaline coursing through your veins, you start sweating, your heart rate goes up, you know, you have cortisol, all these different chemicals that are related to fear 
and the fight or flight response. Well, these are also in animals, and when you when you slaughter an animal like that, you're consuming that fear. And so, yeah, if you can, if you can avoid eating the blood, that would be that would be best. And especially, you know, like like I mean, you can actually buy kosher meat if you live in a large city. But otherwise, you can do things like soaking the meat first to try and get the, the you know, in water to try and get the blood out. But, you know, it, it's just generally, that's, you know, partly why I just ended up being a vegetarian. I didn't really want to mess with it. But, yeah, it's, it's the blood thing is huge. And you don't know how many people are, again, opening themselves up to the demonic because they are drinking blood or eating blood in, in the, their steaks or their blood sausage or whatever. Life's in the blood. It says don't eat it. Parasites are in the blood, but blood viruses are in, in, in the blood. There's eggs oh, yeah. in the blood. Folks, there's all kinds of wicked stuff. Uh, you don't want that stuff. That's why it says don't eat it. And, uh, but... Let him lie! Let him lie! Let that hog lie in his own filth! Let him lie!